Alright guys, welcome back to a half fast 719. So we're going to be installing this Banks air filter kit. It is the part number 42180. And uh, yeah, anyways, it's carb, carb compliant, California legal. Um, it's pretty straightforward, I guess you could say. Ooh, look at that. Dual exhaust. I will never do a dual exhaust on a diesel. Maybe dual stacks, but I don't like stacks either. But anyway, so what you're going to need here is you'll need a 13 millimeter. As you can see, I already loosened it. 13 millimeter socket. For that bolt, 8mm, preferably a really long extension. So, got an 8mm here. So, what I did was I loosened this one here, and then I got down there and loosened the one on the turbo. So, and then you need 7mm. 7mm is going to be for all these here, which pretty much you can just you should be able to turn them by hand, um, but if you can't, then uh, it'll be what it'll be. So I'm just gonna take these sensors off. I'm gonna show you guys how these stupid clips work, because uh, I don't know a lot of people. Want to know how those stupid clips work? That is the dumbest thing. I mean, they're basically bulletproof if you want to give them that. Um, anyway, uh, take a small screwdriver or you could use a pick, however, however you want to do it. So, <clears throat> anyway, they're kind of a pain in the butt and you have to do them if you're removing all the plugs and everything so this is turn that so you're gonna have to take this and you'll have to move that little tang uh if I can get it in there so you have to move it so you can see that it's not exactly center it's kind of this way a little bit so Kind of need two hands, but you'll, you'll push it that way to the right. And uh, what I kind of do is I twist the screwdriver a little bit. It's hard to hopefully, hopefully you guys are seeing that. So I twist it and I push it. So kind of do a a twist and a push. So a twist, you can see it pushes it up there. If you can't, if you have two hands, just slide it over and then you can either lift this up or push it up, however, and it's not supposed to come off like that, but my little tab's broken, I don't know why, must have been something with the previous owner, and then again, find this 7mm socket, you should be able to turn these because it's just going into plastic. Um, it looks like these have been out once or twice, so I'm just taking the screws out. Okay, good. It hit the ground. <laughs> um, yeah, take the screws out. You want to twist these out a little bit. That one looks good. That one. Hmm, looks like it's missing some stuff. I think there's supposed to be a wire going up and down that one. Or something. But I don't see nothing in that one. Um, I'll have to check into that sensor right here. Um, but yeah. So that's basically that. Pop this clip. So you take this, 
So I loosen that here so that it'll twist. So, and you can oops, smash the camera. But yeah, you pull this off. I'm just gonna set it to the side for right now. The suck is right here. This is one of the reasons why I like this little Dodge. They knew that you were gonna be working on it, so they built this little tool tray. Then you'll grab this because that's loose at the turbo, and you just push it towards the cab, and it'll roll it off. And I'll show you something real quick. You'll have to undo this hose. This hose clamp, I didn't. I stuck a plug in here because I don't. I don't have my uh, crankcase pressure going back into the turbo. I took all that, took all that off. So I'll set this junk aside. Not really junk. I don't think there's any problem with this because I think it's actually all right. Um, because it's not really that sharp of an angle. I'll show you what the Banks one looks like. I'll compare them real quick. I mean, this one probably just has a better transition, I guess. So, as you can see, it's still the same size, still the same transition. So, um, I wouldn't necessarily say this is bad, but um, if you can consider all the advantages and the airflow and I don't really know. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Um, my finger hurts from this stupid thing. It slapped me. Be careful with these. They'll slap you. Um, so now... Somehow I need to get this air filter out. That's a huge air filter is all I gotta say. And uh... I guess there's not bolts in there. So now I just gotta work this out. Right? There's no bolts in there. So, anyway, I'm just gonna pull this out somehow. There's two, there's one, there's two. So they just have those. There's a lot of crap in there. They just have those two little things going down into those rubber grommets on the battery. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then you'll have to stick nuts on those grommets. And, uh, I guess they got these little rib nuts. But anyway, let me get to all that. And it's pretty straightforward. You just hooked up the hoses. The only weird thing you got to do is these wires. They're not long enough for the placement of where they got to go. So you kind of have to... <clears throat> you kind of have to... I guess, uh... Expose some of the wiring to get them to extend to... To fit, if that makes sense. So, anyway, let me get uh, all this crap out and uh, get it all set up. All the hardware, hoses, other hose, and the box. The lid, I mean. And then there's the box. And then here's the air filter. So this is air filter number 42178 air filter 730 2019 so like six months old I guess you could say so and uh booble wrap and the air filter so this is an oil, oiled air filter. I don't really like oiled air filters for diesels. Um, for I don't know why reason, but for my oh that's why because I get dirty just sitting in the truck. So my '99, my second gen, the, I had to clean the filter 
and I didn't even do like a thousand miles on the truck and I was constantly cleaning the filter um, every time I go drive it but then again it keeps all that dirt from going in the engine that's why I like the Banks one because it's a sealed unit as you can see the one I had on my Dodge it was a K&N my 99 the air filter was exposed so it would get a lot of that dirt so anyway let me get all set up over there get all these parts out and uh, either show you when it's done or show you the next step I'll be back all right so first step you want to take these grommets out they sit in there like that you just grab them peel them out so I'll show you real quick if they go in as easy as they came out okay they do so there you go grommets in you just take two fingers like this and just put your thumb there and peel it out so and then what's going to go in its place is these little rubber so they got a little nut in there and a real rubber insulator and then you'll just want to push those in there I can't remember I want to say they go in this way just push it in there like that you push it in there like that and then when you tighten the nut it mushrooms it like mushrooms out like a bolt so then those will obviously go in there so get the box check out right here the box of rocks <clears throat> and they go in those two holes there's a third hole I don't know what the third hole is for but Anywho, zoom it goes out. Goes in there, so it doesn't go in there. So the opening obviously is gonna go into the opening there. So uh yeah. Um don't remember, I think this has to go. Far. So it looks like looks like this AC line might have to bend just a little bit. Be extra careful with that. Just bend it a little bit. Test fit it. Bend it a little more. I can bend it. Looks like we got this one down here. Might need to be bent a little bit. Anyway, so you just gotta play with those lines a little bit. It's wanting to get in there. So as you can see, those holes will line up, but I'm still hitting on this on this line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to push it forward, maybe. Maybe not. Or maybe I'll just angle it down a little bit. Can see we fit in there pretty good so and we're not hitting on that line so I take the bolts and stick them in those rubber insulator dealy bobs tighten that one down a little bit and they say these bolts are 9 16 14 millimeter whichever one you want to use Anyway, just try to hand tighten them a little bit so you're not cross threading those little nuts because if those nuts get cross threaded, you're, uh, you're done. You basically just gotta melt it out of there. You'll be playing with that for a little, bit, a little while. So, anyway, then you go get the bracket for that. Actually, I'm actually not feeling this right now. I'm actually 
I want to go in the house and go to sleep. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing for you guys, man. You know what I mean? Anyway, then you'll take this bracket here and you'll put that there with the little bolt in the washer. So let me get all that on and uh, I'll do the next video of, of that pipe, the tubing in there. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had a, a friend that I haven't seen in a long time showed up. <clears throat> anyway, here's my boots. I left them out for too long because you can see the masking tapes on this one. But anyway, that'll all go away once I start working. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the boots. So now I just let them sit out here in the sun. Let them dry. But anyway. Oh, that's, that's where his drink is. <laughs> we went to his house. His dad was having a problem with his Dodge gas truck. And, uh, but yeah. So, um, I got it all installed. He was here blabbing with me. And, uh, yeah. So, let me just show you real quick. So, that is, that hole is plugged off where that factory hose clamp is. Got both of those clamps clamped. Got the bank crap on. No, I was thinking maybe I got the tube on backwards, but um, anyway, got these two clamps are on. It's screwed in here. The two screws that are in the box. This screw you can take the little rubber bushing off of the factory one and use it on here. And then it's a uh, seven sixteenths screw right down in there or bolt um and then it's the three screws to tighten it then you put this little plug in it's pretty much just straightforward um one thing i do want to add and maybe banks or whoever if you're listening if you can just make a little extension cable for these wires because i don't really like it all twisted like that and uh, you can't turn that around because if you turn it around, it doesn't work. So maybe just an extension cable uh, for that. And that would be awesome. So anyway, um, we can see back there. It's not wet anymore. It's just it is what it is. It still has all that crud build up on it. Because I didn't get in there and scrub it or nothing. I'm not losing any coolant. So anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video for the... Uh, the bank's ram air intake the filtration system so we got that and uh next video is going to be removing and deleting that filter and installing the uh black market the black market uh performance uh fuel filter so i'm gonna go in and take a nap I need it and then if I feel like doing anything I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna shoot the video installing this so that'll be the next video all right guys thanks for watching comment below subscribe let me know what you guys think sorry I didn't go into depth but it is what it is all right guys later